ourselves a um, piece of string, about uh, two and a half feet, and we tie a knot in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Don't cut it too long because it just takes forever, okay? So that, that's, that's a really big garlic, garlic thing there. So now we should move over to the uh, trestle over here. Basically all we're doing is we're just holding the, holding the string up, okay? And then I'm going to grab some garlic. So the idea is to very simply braid it. Okay. So I'm going to put the garlic in the center. And we put it right up against the, the head. Mm. Don't have it like this, okay? Put the head right in between. Okay. And getting it going is the hardest thing. And then we bring and bend it round and bend it like that. Then we get another piece of garlic. Put it through again. But we bend it the other way. Now you might find that some of the heads break off. And then we just have to get another piece of garlic. Okay, that's why you need the garlic head to be a little bit pliable because then you can actually do this uh, a lot easier. So putting it through, through the middle to hold it and bend it around. And once you, like I say, once you've got a few on this, it's quite straightforward. Now later you can come along and tidy these up, clean them up, and if you really want to, trim them. And then you can come along and trim there. So could you pass me a little bit more garlic please and we'll just get this going. Great, thank you. So, um, so again, just put, put the garlic through the middle, get the head as far between, right between the string, and just bend it around the string and bend it back out. And keep it pushed down. Don't, don't push too hard to pull your nail out, okay? But then you end up with sort of like this, yeah? Yeah? And if it looks a bit funky when you start off with, don't worry, but by the time you get up there, you'll get the hang of it. And on your third or fourth braid, it'll be very, very easy, okay? <laughs> okay, now, this is a long braid. This is going to be a lot of garlic on this. So if you want to cut the first one, if you want to cut a smaller braid, then then you can do that, you can do a sort of trial one. So this you want to take home and you want to hang it in the dry, dark, airy place. So if you've got a basement, a garage, somewhere where it's not moldy, somewhere there's some air movement, but don't hang it in your kitchen where it's going to get sunlight. If you've got a cool, dark part of your kitchen, that's fine. But um, it'll last the longest if you hang it in a cool, dark place, um, and then go down and go get some heads of garlic. And then you just come in along, and you just clip off the ones from the top. Okay? And um, uh, somebody was here today and said they actually just used the last of their garlic from last year. Yeah, you did too, and somebody else did too. So this is really, seriously, seriously the best way to do it, okay? And when we, another thing you can do when we g give you garlic, each week, you can have a little braid going in the garage, okay? And just go and wind it on. If you don't need it all that week, just go and wind it onto your braid. And you can tie a little knot if you want to as well, because it doesn't have to look pretty, okay? You know, Martha, she's not looking over your shoulder. You're okay. <laughs> but then you can just keep adding to that, and that really, w rather than just hanging the bunch in the garage where it will dry out some reason this works better. Okay? And it'll look very much like Provence, you know, <laughs> very cute. So what the only way to, do, to learn how to do this is just keep trying.